Hello and welcome to Jira Lab. In this episode, I will discuss how you can limit the resolutions available on the Resolve Transitions screen. Let's begin. The use case scenario for today is as follows. A test manager is managing the process of bug fixing. He is having problems explaining developers which resolutions to use and which not during the resolving bugs. He wants to ensure that each bug raised is resolved only with one of three resolution types. What can you do to achieve that as Jira administrator? So I'll prepare for you a project ITP. And in this ITP project, there are two subtask types. And I'll show you how the first one works. So this is a simple subtask issue type and what happens if I want to resolve uh, this one okay so we've got a resolution screen and the problem that we are facing as test managers is that there are too many resolutions so each time you need to uh, explain to users which resolution to choose. We can limit that using workflow properties. But first, before we go to setting up properties, uh, we need to go to uh, administration issues. And in issues here, we've got resolutions. And here we've got all the resolutions which are available on this instance. In order to set the properties, we need to know internal sort of numbers or object numbers that Jira uses uh, to identify the uh, resolutions. And we will need three resolutions, done, duplicate and declined. So we need a number which is visible in the address so this is the number we are going to use id number of this resolution so we've got 10000 another one was duplicate so it's 10002 and cancelled which is 10004 all right, so note down these numbers. Okay, so in this project, we manage bugs with the workflow IT bug workflow. So we need to go and find this workflow, ITP bug workflow, and we need to go and edit it. And on this uh, transition, we need to set the property Jira field resolution include and we need to put in these three numbers 10,000, 10,004 and 10,100. So if I want to, if I was to recreate it, I would do this and that's so you know, so you can see that it's, it's that easy. All right, so once we have this properties done then we publish the workflow again all right and let's have a look uh, let's have a look how it looks like now how it works so here we are in our test cycle epic and we'll go to this task itp 17 which is already in progress and here we'll transition this bug in progress and done and this time we will have only three resolution types available in this way we have fulfilled the requirements of our test manager all right that is all for today thank you for watching this episode of Jira Lab I hope to see you again soon bye bye